Hey guys, it's time to lay down the law. Welcome back to Robocop Rogue City. So I did not realize that um, as soon as we restarted this, I was going to have to do the whole uh, interview session all over again with the therapist. So I just cut that out because I didn't want to go over the same questions we already answered. I basically chose the same exact answers and got the same exact replies. So yeah, I thought I had auto saved after it, but no, you actually did have to do the therapy session all over again so that also means unfortunately we kind of lost the the um the experience points we did last time i forgot where we where we put them at so what are we gonna focus on armor combat engineering i said i think we needed more health right vitality yeah i might have to uh might have to look at the other video to see what exactly we did. We'll handle that later. All done. Robo, there's something I need to show you. Now for something positive. The daughter of Jens Danielsen, Prime Minister of Norway, who was brutally murdered during last year's parliamentary session, is expecting a baby. It's a girl. That's it. I know that OCP can be a real pain in the ass, but this might change your mind a bit. We've been working behind the scenes on giving your sidearm the treatment it deserves. The Auto 9 can now be equipped with a motherboard. Once the motherboard is in, you'll be able to mount a number of processors on it. Each processor can vastly improve your aim, damage, or stability. See for yourself. Oh yeah, yeah, we got an enhanced gun. Kind of reminds me of the Final Fantasy X grid, where you would put the spheres in for the different skills you wanted. It also looks a bit like the Spider-Man grid. Only one motherboard can be active at a time. Oh, um, so what exactly is this? Um, oh yeah, there we go. So magazine capacity. Um, we're really high on bullets. We don't really need that right now. Weapon spread, reload speed, weapon damage. What would be, what would be the best? Um, armor piercing. I think maybe damage because um. Some of these guys took a lot of shots to kill, so I think maybe damage might be the best benefit. Magazine, like I said, uh, we have a lot of bullets, so I don't, I don't think we really need that right now. Spread, uh, now nah, we just aim at the guys and shoot. Like, we don't really need them to kill like three guys at the same time. Armor piercing, I can tell that's going to be for Ed 209 later on. So that's going to be um, something to keep in touch, I mean something to keep track of. Be on the lookout. There's OCP tech in everything. You wouldn't believe how many useful processors can be salvaged from old devices. Okay, that's it from me. Becker wants to see you. He's taken over Reed's office. Say what you want about the man, but that takes guts. For some reason, that Max guy reminds you of Max Shrek. Wasn't he the guy from uh, Batman Returns? The one who kind of created Catwoman by throwing her out that window? I don't really understand what the percentages are. We got... Like, I want to... I don't want to use the top one right away. Cause I guess see 12. Okay, so... Weapon damage. Magazine capacity. Weapon damage... I don't quite understand. Um, like, do we just put it here? I guess. Oh yeah, trophy earned. All adds up. Okay, so I guess um, I guess we have multiple ones, and then we come across them. I guess we'll incorporate it as we come across them. But not really sure. What exactly, um, yeah, this is kind of, um, oh, 
wait a second, that took away... That took away everything. We went down. Hell no. Hell no. We do not want that. Um, what about spread? What if we put a spread? Let's see. Oh, can you not combine different... Also, can you not combine different ones? Let's see. Maybe you have to put all 12, I guess. Let's see. Let's switch that over for 12. No, it, um... Yeah, I might have to take a look at this and see exactly how we actually do this because I have no idea. This is a bit complicated. Because if we put one here, then it goes down. Also, I guess then you have to put... I guess you have to put ones here to compensate for it. Like if we put a... Like if we put a... Oh, I guess you can't go lower. That's what you can't do. You can't go lower than the chip you start with. So I guess if you start like a 12, you can't go lower than that. That's why they have only 115, because if you start with 15, I mean, when they have only 119. If you start with 119, you can't go lower than that. So you're pretty much um, screwed on the options you can do. So even though you can do more with lower percentages, at the same time, you can't go higher than what you start with. So since we started with 12, um, I mean, you can't go lower. So we can't use 9, we can't use 10, so... Yeah, let's just leave it at 12 for now. Like I said, we don't, we're not facing the really tough scumbags yet. Once we get to the E209, maybe we can change them. It's a bit complicated. Yeah, um... I completely forgot what skills we upgraded last time. So this allows us to run. Basically, we can ram. We can dash. Like I said, that's for quickly escaping danger. Uh, focus. We don't really need that right now. Scanning. Like I said, we don't want to be Revolver Ocelot. That's not who Robocop is. Psychology. Like, I guess... Uh, this does double the, the points we get, so... I guess, right? I guess we're gonna go for psychology. And then, um... Bonus weapon damage. Armor. Yeah, I guess we, I guess we might as well go for, um... Take less damage, right? Yeah, I, I completely forgot what we not yet. What we put but last time. Worse. Don't think too much about it. You know you're right. We should stay strong and focused, just like her. Those are some tight pants. So is this guy. Wonder if the twist is gonna be at the end that asshole actually comes on to Robocop's side. And maybe he starts out wanting to dismantle him and then becomes a supporter of him. Or do we hey, just kill Murphy, him at some point? Do you have a minute? Sure. It's about anything, Lewis. Anything to avoid talking to that asshole. Did you say Lewis? Yeah. Me and a bunch of guys decided to sign this get well card for her. I figured that you'd want to sign it as well. A get well card? Yeah, I know it's... It's just that Cheesy. we want to let her know we're with her. Lewis will like that. I would like to sign the card. I don't know. I think Murphy would want to sign it. I would like to sign it. Uh, thanks, Murphy. I knew you'd understand. Actually, there are a few signatures that we still need. Could you ask him? I think I need a break. At a start, Kowalski is hiding somewhere in the lobby. Understood. Alright. So, um... We gotta go talk to this asshole first, then we can go, um... Here is a um, fine Kowalski. We gotta go talk to this jackass first. 
OCP Thank you for this opportunity, Mr. Becker. Uh, you are very determined. I must have seen your application like 20 times. I assumed they were getting lost in the mail. Huh, that didn't stop you, did it? You're persistent and capable, too. Highest marks on all the written tests? Pretty much an ideal candidate. Aside from the fact that you don't meet any of the physical requirements, that's actually remarkable. Short stuff. Unfortunately, sir. Why is being a cop so important to you? My father was a police officer, and his father was one, too. Uh, police name family. Ulysses, that's a strong name. It must be heartbreaking not to be able to continue a family tradition. You know, I have the power to look the other way and make you a cop despite your... shortcomings. In exchange, I only ask for one thing. Your complete loyalty. And maybe a touch of gratitude as well. Will I still get a badge? Like a proper police officer? Badge? Oh yeah, sure. Then Officer Washington is reporting for duty. Good. There you go, youngin. Is... Is that blood? We don't make a badge for every new officer. We just reassign the old ones after cops retire. Or die. R Robocop. I'm a big fan. Well, that's great, because you'll be spending a lot of time together. Meaning? Aside from his regular dispatch duty, Officer Washington will become your personal overseer. Overseer? Yes, you will report to me on his every action. Hopefully that will prevent him from continuing to tarnish his already murky reputation. His recent behavior casts a shadow on OCP, and we can't have that. That's a lot of responsibility for a rookie. Every other cop refused this post. But you won't. You wouldn't jeopardize your career, right? Uh, no, sir. I would like to proceed with my investigation, now that we know that the new guy is Wendell Antonowski. Was he even listening to anything I've been saying? Absolutely fucking not. You're off the case. Actually, you're off all cases. There's a bunch of documents that need archiving in the records room. That's your priority now. Understood. Now go. I'll tell Achilles about what's what in this godforsaken place. What an asshole. It's Fuck you. Lizzie, sir. Hey, first rule, kiddo. Never question your superiors. Never mind. I hope we kill that guy. And something tells me he probably is uh, partly behind what's um, been happening in the city. I'm sure he's probably a partner of Emil's brother. So you know what? Fuck that guy. We're not going to the archive room like he said. We're going to find Kowalski. Cause fuck that dude. I seriously hope we get to kill that guy. Like how are you going to put Robocop on archive duty? Are you fucking kidding me man? That tells me he doesn't want them to be found. Use Robocop to investigate individuals. Is that guy suspicious? What is he doing? Oh no, we're just looking for Kowalski. I thought maybe he was acting something suspicious. Maybe he's, he was um doing something with that guy. Health insurance form. OCP Healthcare, their office Kurtz, Detroit. Respond to your request. Please note that the early retirement is ball terminating health insurance. It covers you and your wife for the possibility of prolongation out of care for your spouse. And because of the fact that she actively uses the oncology treatment package, we recommend working to your entire tenor. Clara Bright. That sucks. His wife's suffering from cancer. But uh, they, that's why they wanted to keep into the, ho the whole tenure instead of letting him retire early. Even though this, this, this is like the most dangerous city in America. This is like Gotham City in the Robocop universe. So, fuck you, Clara Bright. Should take this banana and shove it up your you-know-what, bitch. Why is everyone who works for OCP a ghoul? The funny thing is, even though... Um, Robocop 3 sucks. It's one of the worst movies ever made. Um, one thing that was appropriate was the fact that OCP went bankrupt and it got bought out by that Japanese corporation. Because I, the hell with those guys, man. The hell with them. They got fucked in the miniseries too. Uh, in the miniseries, they actually um, got sued for one trillion dollars. Bring your daughter to work day is canceled due to last year's events. Yeah, I can kind of understand why. Because if um, the criminals don't do something to her, some of those OCP scumbags will. <laughs> so 
that's not Kowalski, that's just some depressed guy. I get the feeling we might have seen Kowalski at some point. Earlier in the game, we just don't know who he is. Look at that punk. Commercials are not kidding when they say lethal response. What do you mean? Once a week, Mark has to call the cops to collect the body of a dead burglar from his front yard. I don't mean punk as in up to anything bad. I mean like, look at just look at her hair. That's punk. Okay, the black skinny guy is not Kowalski. Is it a woman? Kowalski, where are you? Look at that, Officer Marlin, alias Marlin. Oh, so that's a female officer. She's got a picture of a dog right there. That's who she comes home to. That's awesome, that's a great looking dog. Look at that. Looks like an, uh, that wouldn't be an Akita, right? I always get them mixed up, the Akita and all those, um, like husky looking dogs. That's not the Akita, right? There's a video on YouTube, uh, not YouTube, uh, Twitter going around, um, there's a couple of videos of those dogs, but um, there's one about the one that can control his ears one at a time. It's kind of freaky, actually. It's supposed to be cute, but it's kind of freaky that it has that unnatural control over its ears. Like it can move them one at a time, flip them back and forth. Unless that's unless that's photoshopped or something. That I actually thought it was kind of freaky. That dog has better control over its ears than a human. But then there's also one of one in the subway, and then another one in the subway also wearing tennis shoes. Oh, I, I didn't see you there, Murphy. Oh, that's Kowalski. What are you doing here, officer? Nothing much, just trying to collect my thoughts. Would you sign the get well card for Lewis? I am supposed to get it signed and then pass it on to another officer. Uh, yeah, sure thing. That's a great idea. Kowalski up to? Looks suspicious. There you go. Signed. But could you pass it along to another officer? I, I think I'd like to stay here for a little bit longer. Oh, you could try to tell him the man up. Now Murphy's a sensitive type. Understandable. Take your time. Thanks, Murphy. Kurtz hasn't signed it yet. He was in the locker room last time I saw him. We gotta ask Reed to sign it. That'll be, that'll be kind of hilarious if we have to ask Sergeant Reed to sign it. Yeah, screw um, screw Max Shrek's um, screw Max Shrek's uh, request. Oh, he's in the shower. We're just gonna pop in the shower and hit him, get him to sign the get well card. It's gonna be naked. Oh, there's that damn 555 number. They gotta come up with some other number for that. That, that thing pisses me off now when I saw it. When I see the freaking um, 555 let number, it instantly gives away this fake universe. Obviously, they're all fake universes, but come on. like You can do better than having one single area code for like 15 million different TV series, games, and movies. Come on. Oh, let's see if it shows naked. Let's show his ass. Right, right. Each does signature show recognizes that the water is cold. Is everything all right, Officer Kurtz? Oh, uh, you talking to me? Yeah, I guess I stayed here longer than I anticipated. Oh, I have a card to new? sign. It is for Lewis. Uh, uh, I'd love to sign it, but uh, I don't want to get it wet. Uh, could you grab my towel for me? Uh, yellow one. Uh, it should be by my locker. Okay. That tone, Murphy. Murphy's like, what the hell am I doing here, man? Where is his locker? What's this one? Oh, no, that's Blues Brothers. Yo, Ramirez, I left your uniform in the locker with all the bullet holes nicely stitched up. Don't worry about it, though. If I ever hear you again calling me a nating nada, you're gonna be patrolling the streets in your underwear, in your underpants. Cap. What the hell's going on there?
how long was Kurtz in there? Because look at it, this place is soaked. He just stayed there for like half an hour. He's the only one here, so it must have come from him. There you go. Thanks. Uh, just uh, give me a minute. Oh, please, nothing Murphy hasn't seen before. There, signed. Uh, I think that it's beautiful what you're doing. You are shivering. Yeah, I was lost in my thoughts. Didn't notice that I used up all the hot water. Thinking about Lewis. Yeah, but I can't imagine what you're thinking. She's your partner. Speaking of partner, I see that O'Neill hasn't signed the card yet. Uh, be a good guy and get it to her, okay? Uh, she's at the range. She'll yell at me if she finds out there was a card for Lewis and she didn't get to sign it. I will make sure that happens. Well, Murphy wouldn't get for a shower. Oh, I thought he was gonna come out naked. All right, let's go over to the range. Anything to avoid um. Anything to avoid doing uh, assholes requirements. Plus, I forget where the range actually is. Down here. This is not a very well maintained building, is it? Oh yeah, there's a. Uh, there's um. Damn, I already forgot her name. There she is, right there. Shit. O'Neill. Not April O'Neill. Is everything all right? I think my service weapon ain't calibrated right. I could perform a check for you. Yeah. Okay. Give it a go. All right. Let's do this. I guess you don't have any problems with it. Ooh. Damn, we failed. We're Your service level. weapon is calibrated correctly. Yeah, I guess so. What is the matter? I can't lie. I wanted to come here and blow off some steam, but my hands are shaking thinking about Lewis. Officer. It's just that if it happened to you, it could have happened to any one of us. Lewis is one tough cookie. She'll pull through, I'm sure of it. But I'm not so sure I could say the same thing about my partner. <sighs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make it about me. I don't know, should we, be, should we be sympathetic or understand? I struggle to accept. Let's try, let's try this it one. It is difficult. Is there anything I can do for you? You can sign this get well card for Lewis. Sure thing. There you go. <laughs> Almost everyone's already here. That says a lot about our impact on all of us. There's only one person missing, Sergeant Reed. He's in the garage. Oh damn, we do have to go get it signed by Reed. Fuck. She has an accent too. Can't place where it's from. Like, is it, is it just a different part of the city, or is she from like an entirely different uh, state or whatever? Because you know they're they're not all from Detroit. You know they OCP does uh, transfer um, higher skilled cops to their most dangerous departments to uh, you know do shady things with them in their experiments. Oh, there's Sergeant Reed himself. The one guy in the game who does not sound like he's supposed to. The the one guy. Lewis sounds almost exactly the same as Nancy Allen. Uh, Peter Weller is obviously Robocop. I know people have complained about his voice, but it's still him. And you know, everyone else pretty much sounds like they're supposed to, except for this one dude. That, that, that kind of bugs me. Even the old man, like the old man sounds slightly different because obviously that actor is deceased, I believe. Oh, he's gotta be deceased because he was already like 70 when they filmed Halloween 3 and that was in the 80s, so. Yeah, obviously they can't get that guy. But he sounds close enough, but. Reed, it bugs me that he's the one guy in the game that doesn't sound like he's Murphy, supposed to. Do you have a minute? He just, his voice is too deep. It's like, sounds like trying to imitate him, but not quite. It's just too deep. It actually needs to be higher, like it was in the movie. I noticed you running around the precinct. 
I am collecting signatures on a get well card for Lewis. I know. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, I ride everyone hard, and they probably see me as a drill sergeant. Maybe they think that I do it because I don't care. But I do care for each and every one of you. And what I'm trying to say is that I... I I'd like to sign that card. If you let me. Of course. Nah, that would be too soft for him, I think. Yeah. We are a unit. You should sign it. Everyone's here already. Lewis, she made don't an be, impact. Don't want to be too We've soft We've got to tough get guy. the ones that did that to her. That's got a reputation to uphold. Right. Keep the card. She should get it from you. Thank you, Murphy. All right, we're done. Excellent. Yeah, plus you don't want Murphy to come across as too much of a softy either. You know, like, he, he, he doesn't always have to say what everyone else is actually thinking, you know. Sometimes you, um... Oh, do we really have to go over here? Yeah, look at all the stuff we've done already. That's a hell of a lot of police work for one guy, even if he is Robocop. Oh, damn that. We can't do it. We have to go in here. We can't avoid it any further. We have to go in here and do this crap. Uh. Oh, hi, Murphy. I was told you'd come to help me. This is exciting. I don't get many visitors here. Remember that dude from the first movie, the guy? Isn't that the same guy that Robocop that flipped in the finger using his finger spike? You know, we could rather than do it, rather than do it with his hand, he did it with, with his um, data spike to make a point. And ostent like on the surface, it seemed like he was just um, pulling it out to analyze the data, but you could tell he, that really was Murphy flipping him the finger with the data spike. What seems to be the problem? Uh, Mr. Becker wants you to do some maintenance work, so, you know, please scan the servers, see if they're operating properly. I'm sure they are, but he insisted I found a job here for you. Yeah, I wish I had something more exciting for you to do, since for me, this is where all the action happens. Explain. With this wealth of information at your fingertips, this records room should be a real hotbed of activity. Others don't seem to know how fun it is to dig through all this stuff. You can play a real-life detective here. Officer Cecil, you are a detective. Yeah, you are a detective, yeah, man. What are you talking about? Mostly just a paper pusher. So, if one wanted to find out the oh, whereabouts of a particular criminal, Let's check down that bastard. what would one do? That's easy. Just check the computer in the back. Type in who you're looking for and see if there are any matches. Uh, j just remember to scan the servers at some point. Mr. Becker will blow his top if I don't make sure you checked him. Working perfectly. So we're gonna go rogue. That's why it's called Rogue City. We're gonna go rogue. Perfect on his ass. working condition. I can't get over the mix of I am and old technology. A malfunction. Huh? That doesn't seem right. This server is compromised. Oh. Good thing you noticed it. It could lead to the loss of important data. Yeah, look at these old com I'll make sure uh, Mr. Becker knows these old a tremendous job you did CRT here. monitors. God damn. It's a weird mixture of old and new technology in Robocop. It's kinda weird. At the same time it's intriguing, it's it sets it apart from any other universe pretty much. You know, and it's not all sleek and modern. They use a mixture of old and new technology. You know, they have data disk, and you don't even know if they're DVDs or their own proprietary disk. They use old computers, but then they can connect to stuff like Robocop, so it's just a very weird blend of the new and the old, retro and new tech. Like, look at this, look at this primitive looking monitor. And yet they have an entire database. Incredible. Just type in your search. Database? Uh, should we do database or? It's Emil. Yeah, because we know his name, right? So we already know who he is. Oh, there's Murphy. Uh, Alex J. Murphy, deceased. Which is bullshit because it's right there, but let's see what Reed say. Current Grace found on. Kowalski, Kurt, um, Starkweather. Fredrickson, 
Didn't he die or said he? Oh yeah, he did die. He ceased. Damn. Fredrick Fredrickson was a black guy too. That sucks. Manson. Chessman. Uh. Unavailable. Unavailable. Damn, they're all unavailable. They're all offline. So what's this guy been doing there? If everything, if every single thing is offline, what the hell has he been doing? Here we He's go. Never been charged? Well, that's hard to believe. There's a, a neat feature you can try. See who attempted to access his file before you did. Maybe that'll help us. Yeah, that sounds like a freaking cover-up. How can that Briggs. guy not be charged? Briggs? That must be the last lead that he checked before going missing. So his case led him to the Street Vultures territory? Oh, he went to the steel mill. That's a bad news right there. Maybe those two That's cases are connected place. after all. I'll have to report this to Sergeant Reed. And I am on my way. There's nothing I can say to stop you, is there? No. Nope. Then instead, I'll say, go kick ass for Lewis. Hell yeah, let's go. Fuck Max Shrek. That's his new name now. The, the forget forget his name, Becker. His name his name is Shrek now. Screw that guy. On guard. OCP is trying to smuggle more of their staff into our ranks. You're right. We can't trust them. God knows what sort of people they are. Let's stay sharp and smoke them out. Oh, we know who they are. The scumbags. Yeah, screw this guy. We're going rogue. Like I said, I get the feeling that guy... It's the most obvious plot twist imaginable, but I guess... I guess it might be like the... I guess it might be like the one with, um... What's his name, um... Clarence and Dick. Where, yeah, I, in retrospect, you can kind of probably see it coming, but at the same time, um... The twist is not how, um... The twist is not that they're working together. The twist is just how evil the two of them actually are. You know, how ruthless they are. So I get, I guess, the twist here might be that the two of them ah, are involved Robo in something Cop. much deeper. I was looking everywhere for you. I wanted to say that this is an incredible honor for me. But you know, I get the feeling you don't see eye to eye with Mr. Becker. Yes, come back, kid. Despite the position I'm in, I'll do my best to assist you in any way I can. So. What are you doing here? I am going to Highland Park. Now, isn't that Street Vulture's turf? That is where the lead took Briggs. It could be connected to Wendell. Oh man, that's exactly what Mr. Becker told me you shouldn't do. It, it's my duty to stop you. Is it even safe for you to go? I mean, think of yourself. You keep malfunctioning, right? What if something happens again? Hey, Murphy, I found this on the back seat of your cruiser. It's for you. I can't let you go. Uh, is there some sort of a command for that? Uh, Robocop, off. Uh, Robocop, stay. It's never been reassigned. Hey, is that all cops badge? have to follow rules. Especially you. You're a cop and a machine, so you can't go. Your systems won't allow it. Right? Wrong. Uh, you were gonna try to stop him, kid. He just closed line you to the ground. Robocop? Robocop? Screw you, Don't kid. You See me. ya. Not on my first day. Kid, you're safer there anyway. Like, he's, he's heading to gang's territory. They're probably like. 50 gang members or 100 I gang know members. You're listening. There is still time to stop and turn back. The street vultures are territorial and vicious. You wouldn't want to be caught on their turf, especially by their leader, Spike. You know, I'm, I'm reading that he's known to be exceptionally savage. Apparently, none of his enemies got out of Highland Park alive. Well, it's time to I send him to be this maker the first. then. We're gonna kill Spike. Ugh. I'm gonna get fired. Did you just let him go? We're gonna race. My poor 
not with you guys, but I will kill you if necessary. Oh, this is gonna bring back memories from her future steel mill. Wonder if you can still see like the melted remains of Emil here. Finding a missing police officer there will be like looking for a needle in a haystack. I'm looking at the map of this place and it's huge. There's no way you can investigate without being noticed. Street vultures are the biggest gang in Detroit. I have a large supply of bullets. Oh, that's that code. We got bullets to spare. Wonder why they've never given them the order to take them out then. I guess they must be working with OCP, right? That's why they're reserving them. Yeah, this brings back memories, I'm sure, for Murphy, but... It'd be funny if we could pick up Emil's head from somewhere, take it to his brother here. This is what happened to your brother, and you see his always disfigured, toxic waste head. <laughs> ah, that would be funny. I'd do it. I'd, I'd pick that. If I found that head, I'd totally pick it up and take it back to him. Here, you wonder what happened to your brother? Here's what happened to your brother. Just show him the damn toxic waste melted head. Screw that guy. Yeah, we got we got bullets to spare. We got bullets to kill a hundred men. We also gotta look for a uh, scrap that might be useful. Yeah, this is taking a bit too long. Ah, uh, oh, here we go. Here's some stuff. Hell yeah. Ooh. Okay, so except for the chip, um. I wonder, can we put, um, 13 over here? What will happen if we do weapon spread, weapon damage, um, I don't want to see how, how much damage it does with one. What about... Oh, but then the magazine and armor piercing goes down, so... Yeah, let's take that out for now. What's this? More gore. Increase the volume of gore visuals. Um, I guess? Like, do we actually put one there, or... No, I... For auto mode. Continuously fires round when the triggers pull off. Hell yeah, but that, that turns into a machine gun. That'll be powerful. What's chip merging too? Like, wh what is this? Like, yeah, like what is this? PCP board? Like, I gotta... I have to, um, oh, I see, I noticed now they have different, um, connections on the side, yeah, some have four, some have two, okay, so let's go back to the board, ah, okay, so yeah, you have to put, um, oh, yeah, so that's why, um, oh, I see, because, um, you see there, you see that 13, um, it's fine for now, but I want to switch it later, because you see, you want to avoid this, the penalty, so ideally we'd want here we'd want a 13 that would go um actually maybe we can switch it instead of um this um yeah so you can see what I mean um like take this here the 12 see there we go okay now I'm getting the hang of it like you gotta go by the connections so like here you'd want one that doesn't have a connection here because otherwise your magazine capacity is gonna go down same thing here like you want um one that goes straight and this will take this will take down your weapon damage because we already enhanced it here it shouldn't have that much of an effect and then you can go straight to full auto mode here so yeah something to mess around with it I have no idea what this is um like what's the chip merging Yeah, because we did that already, right? So it should already... Like, what happens... With, what does happen if we put, like, um... I'm trying to see which one would be best, um... I guess this one? Yeah, that's not gonna work, um... That is not gonna work. So what... Yeah, what would um we put there? Okay, so I 
I have no idea what I'm doing with this. Not at all. Not in the slightest. Like, what's the... What even is this PCP board? What the hell is this? Tutorials, let's see. Insert a chip into an empty slot of your motherboard. The chips have different type of connections and boost, them ab boost available. Using the power of other system areas and upgrade your auto knife. Avoid the red components. Reducers. Each motherboard has different specialization, layout, and perks. Only one motherboard can be active at a time. But what's the PCP? What's the... PCB, PCB board, what is this? Because we already have this and we can see the ma we can see the weapon did go up slightly, but what exactly is this? That's what I want to know. What do we do with the board? I'm gonna have to look up a video on that because I have no idea what to do with that. Like what is that? That's a bit complicated. That's a bit complicated because, like I said, I, the weapon is enhanced. Like we obviously did enhance it, but then, like, what? I guess the, do we just create like one? I guess that would be like one custom motherboard, and then we merge it. Like, how do we do that? Have armor piercing too, but those guys don't seem to be armored. They just seem like regular street dogs. So let's go in there see if if we run into some armored ones then we might consider switching it yeah no idea what the no idea what to do I'm gonna have to look up tutorial next because I have no no clue I'll just be happy with the enhanced damage right now maintain energy conservation so they're in a worse street gun street gang they're actually somewhat enlightened even though they look like uh, hideous bikers. Share your doubts. I hear that someone doesn't like that I ordered to destroy the nuke we stole from those dirty torch heads. Street vultures don't do drugs, nor do they sell it. We have our rules and if we are to build our empire, we must stick to them. Someone's got a problem with that, well I'd love to hear about it because I love to cut, the to cut off the tongue of anyone who questions my orders. So I guess they're sort of a noble street gang. They're not selling drugs, they don't do drugs, huh? So I almost feel bad about having to kill them, but um, if they press the issue, we will kill them. It's, it's, even if they are someone enlightened, um, Robocop's just here to investigate, you know? He's just here to investigate. You wanna... You wanna mess with him, you're gonna have to mess back. It's also ominous in how quiet it is. There's another case. Yeah, I'm really gonna have to look up a tutorial on that because I have no idea what the hell to do with that PCB board. Like, what even? What even is that? I thought it was gonna explain it more, but no. Like, what? What do you do with the with the board? And thing is, it doesn't explain it. It only says like the. It explains the surface enhancements we made, but what about the other stuff? Like, what do we do with the actual abandoned chip, squad car sighted? Chip merging. Could belong to Officer Briggs. I, I can't report it based on your assumption. I'm already in enough trouble. Alright, let's analyze his, um... Well, that doesn't tell us anything. I was gonna say analyze his license plate, but that doesn't tell us anything. What about here? Maybe he left some fingerprints? Hmm. There's blood right there. Is that his? Let's see. There is blood on the seat. I mean, it's possible it belongs to someone else. Don't they have his blood type on file? They could use that to identify him. What about here? OCP tracking device torn out. <sighs> That's why no one knew where to look. Okay, we need one more clue. What else are we not seeing? Let's see. Two out of three. Oh, there it is. Full of holes. Bullet holes in the bodywork. <laughs> Every cop car in the precinct has bullet holes. Except for Murphy's, right? 
I am going to follow the blood trail leading from the car. Cozy Reds. I, I know you really want to find Briggs, but the trail might as well belong to any of those bikers. I'm urging you to discontinue this search. Negative. Shut up, kid. We're a multi-year veteran of the force. You just got here. You're not even officially authorized. We make the rules, not you. Is there anything else we can get before we head into the um, gauntlet? Part of their strategy too, like the size is rocking out if they use the music to kind of distract people and disorient them. Yeah, we prefer silence here. Silence is golden. Got tons of ammo though, we got tons of ammo. Now we're full, we can't pick up any more ammo. Looking around to see if there's any more cases we can steal. Oh yeah, here's some incriminating documents. I'm 
I'm sure there's tons of stuff lying around this uh down, lying around the steel mill that we might not get until later. So this is just a storage space? There's nothing in here? There's a hydrant. I wonder what happens if we shoot it. Nothing. Thought a whole bunch of water was going to burst out. Let's get in there and kick ass, Robocop. Oh, there's that fucking good music again. Robocop! It's Robocop! <laughs> Damn. Gotta take out all the speakers. Probably a trophy for it. Plus, it's damn annoying too. Oh! Really? Shut my fucking hand off! Really, Jackass? Damn. We just exploded that guy. Really, you damn fool? This fool really went up to roll a couple of freaking hammer. What the hell's wrong with this man? What the hell was wrong with Get him? Get dead. He's dead now, so. <laughs> Oh, he got a meal like uh, Anton Alston. Oh, he, oh, did he? Holy Jesus Christ. That is some Let's toxic, roll. toxic ass waste there. You are dead! Jewelry. Yeah, we're gonna set someone on fire with this shit. Oh, where are they? Where are they? Someone actually is shooting us, or we just are uh, kind of bashing the walls with our armor. Cause nobody's around, we're hearing shots, but there's nobody there. Oh yeah, we got a hell of a lot of chips there. Got an assault rifle, KH. What did I say, the KH-12? Are they coming this way? Oh, I guess we gotta break through it. See if there's anything we can get. from Robocop fool. Can't hide from Robocop. Oh, it's heavy pistol 50 caliber. That's a freaking Desert Eagle, man. Let's use that right there. Now we're gonna stick with Desert Eagle for now. I recognize that gun anywhere. 50 caliber. That's a Desert Eagle. I first saw that gun in Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 2 or Metal Gear Solid um, 1. I forget which, but no, I think it was Resident Evil 2. Because uh, Meryl had the Desert Eagle 50 caliber Action Express, as she referred to it in that game. But I believe we first saw it in, um, well, I first Get saw it. Cover! I first saw it in Resident Evil 2. That thing was freaking hella powerful. Where the, where the fuck is it? 
Yeah, look at that shit. One shot. That's all it fucking takes. It's funny because uh, people say that one reason you shouldn't use that gun in real life is because it's so powerful. It's pretty much a guaranteed murder. But uh, if you're taking out a scumbag, um, sometimes you might want to have a guaranteed um, death, you know? I don't think a local KKK member or... Uh, she was balls off. <laughs> Damn. He went out. Oh, they fucked themselves, because uh, that grenade went nowhere near a Robocop. Yeah, like, depending on what your situation is, you might want to actually kill the person immediately. Let's you know, roll! You... Damn. That thing is hella powerful, man. Yeah, like if like if you're a woman or or a minority or part of a group that gets harassed a lot, you might want to have that um that instant death. You know, you might not want to give them a chance to come back and fuck you over. You might want to actually kill the person immediately. You have that heavy machine gun. This person there. Oh, this is decent back to the shower room. I guess we could have surprised them there. Come on, there's an eagle bullet. I like this gun. Yeah, these guys are no fucking match for Robocop. Wonder if we can throw it. Let's see. Oh no, we can't. Don't shoot! Look, I've got no weapons. There we go. Should kill him anyway, but still. Let's get our information from him. Alright. I am looking for a police officer. Hey! I don't know anything! I'm just an accountant! He was brought here. There is always so much happening around here. I tend to focus on my work. I wouldn't remember. Would you like me to refresh your memory? No! Oh. Police officer. Damn. I get you. I was going to say, just give him a description. Right. Might help. Not long ago, they brought him here. He was already in real bad shape. I kind of felt for the guy. Where is he? Once he got back on his feet, they took him away. But I don't know where. I'm telling the truth. I only deal with numbers. If you need any more info on your friend, try the warehouse office. It's on the west side of the mill. Alright, fair enough. He cooperated. Do not move until I return. No problem. If anyone finds me cuffed up here, I will look as tough as the others. Damn, that guy has no head missing. That, that is a fucking ass. That is a huge ass um, wound from that desert eagle. Are God you damn, ready that... to come back to the precinct? Negative. A wounded officer, perhaps Briggs, was moved to another location. I have a thug's testimony. Proceeding to the enemy command center. How can you be sure that he's not leading you into alliance then? I am hoping for it. <sighs> You're hopeless. Hell yeah, we're gonna take out the whole operation. Oh yeah, we forgot, we gotta find out the source of that music. Shut it down. It's fucking annoying. Damn, we can't take our canister with it. I wanted to throw that gas can at someone and have it explode. We can't take it with us. That sucks. That whole area is out of police jurisdiction. And according to the new policy, if we wanted to legally be there, we'd need to go through an OCP executive. And I'm sure you know what Becker's standpoint is. I believe I do. I'm starting to understand why he hired me. You're a handful. Holy shit, that lizard ego is killing them. It, damn, look at that. He just mangled these motherfuckers. 
Yeah, so that doesn't smell like a conspiracy, right? OCP won't allow you to come, to come in here even though there may be a kidnapped cop in here. That's a, that's a real fucking cover-up, man. Mac like, that, that Max guy is involved in all sorts of shady shit. He's probably co coordinating this whole thing with uh, Neo's brother. Probably is, just wow. coordinating the whole thing. Damn. <laughs> Look at it. Motherfucker. Very painful death. My head. And your leg, fool. And that's the Desert Eagle, so like I said, that shot probably is fatal. Oh, we got a grenade. -er. What is it, siphon filter? Big siphon filter now. All we need is one good shot, though. Where is he, though? I already forgot where he is. Where's his location now? Yeah, where is that guy? We kill him, or is he still alive? I don't really see where he is. Yeah, did we kill him or not? Can't quite figure it out. I think he's dead. Yeah, I think we did kill him. I don't see him around. Yeah, I guess that I guess that explosion killed him. Because I don't see anyone else. Yeah, let's stick with this gun. This gun is doing serious damage to those freaks. Any more um, resources to find? Oh, we got a recovery charge. That's nice. Yeah, we are still only on three uh, experience points. I want to save those. Let's see, is there anyone else? Oh, this could come in handy, but not yet. Let's let's make let's make sure we take some more damage first, cause um, if we take some more damage, then we can use that three charge. I don't want to waste that, cause then then we're just um using up a free heal. So that pneumatic climbing sound, delicious. So I guess if we wanted to ambush him, this is where we would have gone. We would have climbed up the ladders and then shot him from behind. Oh, look at that. Can you fly, Bobby? From Clarence. That's a nice reference. We can see everyone from here. Look at that. Ooh, got a grenade launcher. Grenade launcher or um, Desert Eagle? What do we take? What do we take, man? Grenade launcher or Desert Eagle? I wish we'd carry more than one gun, but got 12 shots. I guess we make them count. Yeah, we'll come, we'll come back for a Desert Eagle. We'll come back for it. We'll come back for it if we need it. Can we just leap down here? I think we can, right? He doesn't take full damage. So that's where we're supposed to go, but how do we get around that? Let's see. Is there a wall we can breach? Oh yeah, here we go. Broadcaster? Aren't you getting lonely, night in shining armor? Probably wondering why no one's coming to help you. And why no one will. This is no...
His grenades don't reach us, but the problem is our grenades don't reach him either, so we can stay away. Yeah, he can't shoot far enough, but we can't shoot far enough either, so it's gonna be Three me! Good! Yeah.
that guy with the radiator. Hell yeah. Thanks for giving me this super gun voice. is having trouble executing his bold plan and Mayor Cusack is one of the major obstacles. However, the upcoming elections could drastically change the situation because the city's administration were favorable towards OCP. Work on Delta City could have already begun, provided that Mayor Cusack does not get re-elected. What are Cusack's objections about is Delta City really a feature of Detroit? Read more on page 4. So the mayors are working against OCP, but they don't really know if he's working for his own benefit or if he really does care about in Detroit. Could be either one. Could be out of one, so there's some stuff right there. We see it, we see it from way over here. There is right there. Damn, we're full. Oh yeah, that's why we want to. Um, that's why we want to um, increase our. Vitality because that way we can carry more than just four uh, recharge packs. Right now, we're pretty limited in what we can do. Fucking body armor, you have nothing on. Why that? 
why the hell would you fucking charge Robo Pop with a sledgehammer? You damn fool, you just gotta shoot at your knee and you're done, you freaking moron. God damn, what, what a bunch of. What a freaking idiot. Like, he's trying to get a fucking Robo Pop with a sledgehammer. Dude, you got no fucking body armor on you. Piece of shit. What the hell? What the fuck is wrong with this man? Seriously, what the hell was wrong with that dude? I think after this we're gonna save. We're gonna watch the cutscene and then we're gonna save. Cause I've um, been playing for almost an hour and a half. Oh, he's glitching. That spells trouble. Can we, um... Let's see, is that, um... A, a checkpoint or not? Like, it should be a checkpoint after the, um... The cutscene, but I'm not really sure. I don't want to risk um, having the whole situation that happened at the beginning where I had to replay the whole segment again. Because this is a long segment, so I really don't want to have to kill all those guys again. Oh yeah, I think we're going to save. We're going to stop after he starts glitching, because obviously something important is coming up. Gloss enamel. Looked like a coffee can for a moment there. Oh yeah, there's definitely something important coming up. Damn, we're at maximum. If these guys have a net 209, we might have to upgrade our armor real quick. And our damage. I, I would hope not, but you never know, they might actually have a stolen net 209 in here somewhere. <laughs> oh. oh, he's uh, hallucinating his uh, death. There is that. That was yeah. This is where they killed Murphy. You can see right there. It's the same exact spot. So he's hallucinating his death now. Here's the TV he shot out. Oh yeah, this is where Lewis ran up. Oh yeah, this is the whole. This is a whole bad spot for Murphy here. This is this is where he got. It's the beginning of the end. How do we have a? What are we doing on chip? Let's see. Got a ton of them. Yeah, like I said, I. I just have no idea how to use them, so I'm going to have to look that up and have a video explain specifically how you upgrade that thing, because I have no clue. What are we going to see in here? Oh. Got another PCB. Like I said, it would be helpful if we actually knew what the hell they did. I gotta look that up, but um Alright, I think we got everything we we can get out of here. What's that say? Drunken whore? And they're still using VHS. This is the future and they're still using cassette tapes. Some old ass technology here. Look at how much dust is on the thing. They even got a freaking rotary phone. Who the hell is a freaking rotary phone in the future? Alright, let's play this damn tape. See what's on and then we'll call it a night. I'm sure that'll show us where uh, off of the Briggs is. Damn, it is brig. I was kind of hoping it would be something else. Hope he's not dead. I knocked his fucking tooth out. Well, cop. Now we know you won't be leaving here in one piece. You won't either. Hey! You're spoiling my mood again. It's easy when the man's tied down, isn't it? Around. Cops mean trouble. And trouble upsets me. So really, this is your fault. Do whatever you want. But soon the cops no. will... See, there he is right there, that piece of shit. No there he is right there. of any kind is going to show up here anymore. The police officially won't be responding to any calls 
from this area. Does this mean we have a deal? As long as you can work quietly. We're vultures. You need carrion. We're up to the job, no more. Yeah, I'm too sexy for this vest. What a, what a douchebag. for your toy. Would you like to join us? <laughs> a fine offer. Sealing our contract in blood. But I prefer cleaner games. How about instead we do some hunting? Could add a bit of cheer. Spice things up a bit. And I know just the right place for how does it feel knowing we're going to take you to the quarry and shoot your ass to pieces? And the police ain't going to do shit about it. Hope he got loose and took out a few of them. Pisses him off. That's gonna piss Murphy off now. Oh yeah. Well, now we know what happened to Briggs. He's officially being hunted by those scumbags. Um, I'm guessing they just released him somewhere and uh, went all manhunt on him. Most dangerous game, hunting a, a real life man. So uh, that's gonna piss Murphy off sh for sure because now he's getting trigger flashbacks of when he got shot to pieces by Clarence's gang way back in few years ago so yeah now it's starting to make it personal against Murphy and you, you heard what the OCP guy said no um matter what the new uh, overseer they put on Murphy said uh, nobody's responding to areas from that call so that officially means that OCP is in involved in yet another cover-up which means they're also involved in another conspiracy with this guy whoever this bastard is we know he's Emil's brother but what the hell else is he like is he some type of corporate guy or is he like a drug lord or a cartel lord from another city? Like, what exactly is he? You know, so... We know they're involved for sure. Like, they cannot... Like I said, OCP, OCP controls the cops. If the cops can't respond to calls from that area, it's because OCP specifically doesn't want them there. And in order for Wendell to have that type of authority, that means they're working directly with OCP, so... It might be too much of an obvious stretch, or... I mean, too much of an obvious twist, but... Either, um... That Max Becker guy is in charge of it all, or else someone else in the company that he doesn't know about is in charge of it all. He could just be just an ignorant, stupid bureaucrat, but somehow I doubt it. Because um, like I said, I think the twist might be, it's not that they're working together, it's just how evil the two of them actually are, just like with Clarence and, and Dick Jones. Because once you found out they were working together, it wasn't really that much of a shock. What what, what what was a shock was how evil Dick Jones actually was, and Clarence, how um, how opportunistic Cl Clarence was. Like it wasn't just some random gang lord. He actually had a mastermind type to him. So, I think the old, I think the, I think the twist might be just how deep the rock goes in OCP this time. You know, if I Murphy thought he cleared it out. Murphy thought he cleared out all of it by taking out Dick Jones and and his um, crony, but no, um, there's still a lot of rot left in it. So, the story's getting Your good so far. The charts. What happened? Oh, he's starting to he's starting to um, talk. We're gonna ignore his ass. We're not. This seems like a good spot to leave it off. So uh, we got another experience point. Like I said, um. Not really sure what to focus on because I completely forgot what we put them on last time. But eventually, I know we're going to have to upgrade this because once we start finding the more powerful enemies, like I said, especially if we come across an A209, we're going to need the extra firepower for this. So we do need to upgrade this. Focus doesn't seem that. It doesn't seem that. Um, focus does not seem that um, important. Like. We don't really do, we don't really use the slow the slow motion a lot enough to for this to matter. Maybe later we'll use it, but not now. Maybe if we come across more armored enemies that you have to take out instantly, we can switch to this. Scanning, um, like I said, this is this is basically the ocelot mod. You know, just bounce bullets everywhere. We also have, well, this can also extend your investigation range, which I guess we could just do one for this. 
eventually just to, just to extend so we can see more items and where everything is and see more clues we don't have to struggle around searching the environment um i definitely want to use this because this lets you manipulate people so you know what the best option is deduction lets us find hidden treasures safe combinations stuff like that so this is useful and you can see there it says gain 30 percent more experience boy so this will this will bulk us up a lot it'll enhance us quite a bit and engineering i guess eventually we're gonna have to run faster as we start taking more damage but we we don't have to make it a priority just yet. This I definitely want to keep building because you can see there, um, we already increased, increased. We already increased the maximum number of recovery charges to four, but I want to take it to five. And you can see there, fuse boxes will also give you your entire health. That's that helps a lot. But unfortunately, we got quite a ways to go there. Like we'd have to waste three experience points here. You can see just to reach that one, we use up all four just for that. So. We might not want to do that just yet, but that's definitely our end goal because you see at the end, look at the look what the final phase is, auto regeneration. That means we can recover up to 75% of our health. We don't have to heal. We just kill enemies, wander around for a while, for just a bit, and then recover most of our health. So that'll help a lot. Especially like right now. Like right now I think we're at like 90%. But we can use a recovery pack because there's a waste to use it to recover 10%. But if we had that, you know, like, I don't know if it'll go past 75, but you know what I mean? Like, we could recover quite a bit amount of health just from walking around. So that is definitely the end goal for the for all the enhancements. That and probably this so we can take, look, at, so we can take less damage. Because look at that one that says small caliber rounds ricochet off your armor damage nearby enemies. So now we're deflecting bullets, you know. Now we're actually shooting their own bullets back at them, so that'll help us that'll help us out a lot. Instead of taking damage, we're killing them even as they shoot us once we're at close range. And look at that explosives and high caliber weapons deal 25% less damage, so that's useful for grenades and grenade launchers and if they if they have like rocket launchers later on. Because we know the Ed 209 has missiles. We know it we know it has missiles, so we're gonna have to deal with those. That'll help a lot, so yeah, I think we just gotta bulk, bulk up the armor, the health, um, deduction, psychology, and ev then eventually the combat, just so we can deal some damage. But yeah, like looks like a solid roadmap of what we have to do. And because I struggle with deciding what the correct option is, that's why I also want to do psychology because uh, look at that, look at what that one says right there. Highlights favorable dialogue options, so that'll, that'll um. That'll help us make the right choice more often. And I'm noticing now the last one says lower outcome thresholds for the main characters. So that means some of the main characters can actually die or have unfavorable um, outcomes. So we might want to mess with that a bit just to ensure that everybody gets the best possible outcome. We don't want to accidentally screw anyone just because we don't have high enough psychology. So um, yeah, these seem the, like the important ones whereas these are kind of just like... Um, they're bonus, but they're not critical. Like, we're Robocop. We don't need to be running everywhere. You know, we don't need slow motion. We're not freaking Max Payne. Just diving around, using slow motion every five seconds. We're not that. And we're not fucking Ocelot. Bouncing bullets off everywhere like a like a revolver god. That's not who Robocop is. So, I think the first three and the last three are the most important. Probably, this, probably these two. Armor and Vitality. Those are the most important. And then these, these two right here. Yeah, I said the last three, I meant the last two. These two right here, and then combat for when we have to take on bosses. So that's a good solid plan for what we're going to do next time. Uh, I said the story's getting juicy. We're starting to see the connection between OCP and that Wendell guy and the all the gangs in old Detroit. I'm also interested to see if they bring up the mayor anymore because it sounds like I said the mayor is against OCP, but we don't know if he's against him because... um. He's working for his own benefit, or if he genuinely cares about the city and knows what OCP is going to do, and he doesn't, he doesn't want to see them ruin it. Because as bad as it is right now, you saw like in Robocop One that Delta City can make it can make it much worse. Because um, that was one of the whole things Dick Jones wanted to do. He wanted to build Delta City so he could bring in Clarence and have him set up his own criminal empire, which would screw the citizens and it would screw the citizens of Delta City and um. And it will give Dick Jones 
a nice big incentive to have a, that contract for more at 209s out on the street. So it was just like a, it was just one big scheme to make money off for him. You know, Clarence makes money off the drugs and crimes and other stuff, prostitution, um, drug dealing, murders. He makes money off all that extortion. Dick Jones makes money off the Ed 209s that are supposed to keep all that stuff in check, but actually don't do shit. All they do is just target their own civilians. Like he said, who cares if it works or not? So everybody gets money, but the common um, Detroit citizen gets screwed in the new Delta City. So and that might be why the mayor objects to it. He might have a more objection, or he might just be a scumbag himself and is working for his own benefit. We don't know, but um, maybe we'll actually get some more hints about that. So this is a fun game. I really like returning to it. My only issue is I have so many games to play right now. I don't know which ones um, to do sometimes. And I have the ones that I have to do. Like I kind of have to do um, Spider-Man 2. I kind of have to do a horror game. Whether it's Resident Evil or something else. Silent Hill. Still got to return to that Oxide game. I'm not looking forward to it at all. But I got to return to it. Since I hear it's only like 4 hours short anyway. So we're a 4th of the way through already. We have to do those. And then I have to do um, Throwback Thursday, which is Donkey Kong Country right now and Siphon Filter, which I skipped this Thursday because I have completely forgot it was Thursday. I completely forgot to record. So um, I could not record that. So I'm going to have to do overtime on Retro, I mean Throwback Thursday next time. So yeah, I got a ton of stuff to do, but I will come back to this in a couple days because it is, it is really great fun. It's a well-made game, and I don't like first-person shooters. I usually hate first-person shooters. I like this one. This one's pretty decent. It's pretty neat, and it all feels exactly like a RoboCop game should feel, which is um, the most important part. They got mostly everything right. So um, thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time on RoboCop Rogue City on the PS5. See you later.